Steve, you're up. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to mostly just, just turn it over to, uh, with, uh, I've invited the, uh, the city mayors of Maxville, Stafford, and St. John. And uh, what, what we're doing this morning is, is a fire protection agreement. The, uh, just to give the, the public some, kind of some history um, for the county for fire protection as far as structures, we've just had one truck and it sits here in the middle and um, even for the corridor down the middle it's, it's some lengthy response time. Uh, but for the east and west it's, it's long, long, long response time. Well, we, we've got kind of a little article that we'll pass on to the press that kind of explains that, uh, you know, for the east and west folks out in the county, that's not a very good scenario. And um, we, we, a number of years ago, uh, we, uh, about four or five years ago, we, we got a pretty big grant, the county did, to buy air packs and to buy the uh, firefighter coats, helmets, um, and, and those systems like that. But we really didn't have a plan in place on how to how to replace that, whether that would go back to the city, because before that, that was the city. Everybody had their own requirement of, of keeping that. So um, kind of looking at, at both those uh, problems, uh, it, it kind of makes sense that uh, uh, the cities have bumper trucks, and if they could, uh, if we could partner up with them and they could respond with their bumper trucks, which there's not a lot of fires in structures anyhow, uh, that uh, that would be very beneficial for us, and we could actually get out of even needing to own one, and uh, and then we could partner up and, and take care of the air packs and, and the firefighter ensemble, and so that's that's what we propose, and I think you know for the public, uh, it's a great example of, mm -hmm. of city and county government working together to uh, uh, to lessen the burden on the taxpayers, and with that I. I thought it'd be nice if we had a kind of a formal uh, signing of this agreement, and then uh, then let uh, each of you say something if you if you'd like to before we do that. So yes. Yeah. There's three resolutions. We did one for each city. Um, 16 is the city of St. John. 17 is the city of Knoxville, and 18 is Stafford. So we do them all once. That's up to you guys. I move that we pass resolution 2013 16, 2013 17, and 2013 18. Second that. Alright, it's been moved and seconded. We adopt resolution 2013 16, 17, and 18. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Right, this is the official one. What would be the best way to get a picture, Nina, with, with the three mayors and the picture too? Just have them maybe stand behind, or sure. would it bring them all up, or which? What would be the best? I think standing sure. behind of you. Would that be glary? Right? Would that be okay? Okay. I'm not a big picture. Too. No, no. Suck your <laughs> bellies in and we'll. Okay. Thank you. And while, while you guys are over there, I don't I don't know if you want to say anything. You, you're sure to not obligated to do so, but if you want. Okay. That, that's your okay. Come on, Murdo. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. And you're welcome. A, a good example of the city and the county working together. So I applaud you. Thank you very much. I think this is going to be a, a, a step forward. Plus, for protection of the citizens of the county. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. We can Thank you. work together in the future. Let us know. Okay. Okay. Is that the Do we need to do this while the Stafford guys here? That, that no, one, this is later. That that one yeah. we didn't have it before you go last week, okay. so I thought maybe right. you might want to have that, that was mirrored off of off of the federal government's one. Uh, that would actually uh, help kind of whittle it down and uh, 
but you might want to go to take a look. Yeah, I'll post it. And I told the mayor that. I said, and I gave him a copy of it, but I said we really probably need to have our local attorney to take a look at it first. And then, and then it'll be ready next week. But okay. it's actually over there, and we're in the operation already. So uh, I have an executive thing, but I, but I think. Uh, if, if this gentleman wants to go in front of me, so we No, I've got all the time. <laughs> I really do, and I don't want to hold you. <laughs> okay, if, if I could have an, uh, ask for an executive session uh, to uh, speak on a uh, personnel matter uh, for uh, at the most 15 minutes. Probably not 10 minutes. Let's go 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Make a motion for executive session. Anyone in there, Steve? Uh, just us. Okay. okay. Uh, for 15 minutes, not uh, like the personnel. For 15? 15, 15 minutes. minutes. We can come in now. Okay, 15 minutes. Okay. Second. It's been moved and second. We go into executive session for 15 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Um, chairman and commissioners, uh, I. This morning I. Um, I, I the other day, I uh, interviewed for a position in El Dorado, Kansas, and uh, was offered that position as fire chief in El Dorado. I have had uh, the time of my life in Stafford County. I really have. But uh, I, I think this position is probably uh, ordered at this point in my life and my career, and uh, and, uh, and both mine and my wife's is, is probably the right choice. I appreciate uh, everything. And uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, make October 11th okay. be my last day, if, if that's possible. Okay. I make a motion to accept Steve's resignation effective October 11th. Second. It has been moved and second. With reluctance, we accept. Uh, Steve Ray resignation effective October 11th of 2013. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Well, Steve, I hate to hear this, but I understand that, you know, that you do have a life, and this has been a stressful uh, situation of being, you know, director of all three, three services, and I, I think, you know, you'll enjoy your new position and wish you all the best of luck. I need to tell you the household hazardous waste spread that will be at the county shop building on October 12th uh, from 9 to 1. Yeah. I move we approve the minutes from the September 18th meeting. Uh, second that. Second. 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 Last year, right. Right. September 18th. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Yes, we brought it on ourselves. I'm just here to listen. Oh. Well, I'm here to talk, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk if, if there's a question for me. So. <laughs> Join me because you're the head of the airport board, I guess. Well, I'm on the airport board. I don't know who's the head. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a question. Mr. Grammont was over Monday night and met at the Maybe he can. Do you want to start out or how we're running? Well, I don't know where to start. Um, 
the city does <clears throat> have the application in for a new runway. And <clears throat> that was submitted a year ago. Actually two years ago. Two years ago, ago so it's still valid. So you don't they don't have to resubmit an application. <clears throat> um, the city doesn't have any money to pursue this venture is what I was told. It is a 90-10 uh, ratio. So, so they were asking us if we could um, participate in this. Uh, and I had no answer whether we could participate or not. We'd have to talk with you back to whether we could do a, a city-county interlocal agreement or whatever the jargon is. And <clears throat> But I do know if they keep the existing site, Old Highway 50 is going to be involved. So consequently, the commissioners and the county will be involved. So that's about as far as the input I have. <clears throat> and the question came up about the city county operations. This is an airport directory that shows the airports in the central region. And these are just something <coughs> grabbed out quick like that there's Newton City County, Monarch County County, City County, Atwood, Rollins County, and Parsons is a tri city, which is a real mixed up deal. Syracuse, Hamilton County, now there may be some more there. And there's two airport authorities. Uh, Grant County, maybe that city county. Yeah. 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 The county <coughs> property with the city of Little Bow Freight Airport. So there's several that went together that ran into the mm -hmm. funding problem. The situation and according to George Bob Barde at the peak of the funding bill, it's not a problem to have a city county operation. He said it's not a common thing, I think was his words, but it's, it's rare, but it's optimal. And they are funding some improvements at Newton this year, the city and the FAA. And I guess what we're looking at is maybe the county would cooperate with the city and I think they kind of came to that conclusion the other night that they would work with the county. Of course I was jumped on for being up front pushing this thing but like Steve can tell you they haven't had an airport board meeting since well the night you came over and the engineer was there in April well, and, over a year ago. and I've just gone up there I want the airport and it's no more of a benefit to me per se than anybody else just want to get something built and move ahead with this because if we miss this deadline then we're out another year and that, that's, <laughs> if, that's if the county would yeah, decide to put in their application it would be for 2015 funding so uh, but he said there's there's no need of that that the cities is already in and they don't have to reapply and they're already in the funding process it's just a matter of deciding Location. Phase one would be next, and uh, he said whatever the city and county decide, would decide to do jointly. That's that's up to the city and county. They're they're not involved. They just need a lead on the application of who the funds. That's who the funds would go to and everything. And then the agreement between the city and the county would would, would involve payment of, of uh, cost share or, or whatever would, would be agreeable between the two entities. There's one sponsor. One sponsor. <coughs> and the objective of this whole program is for an Eric Angles. <coughs> Correct? Well, that's, that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Economic development, uh, possible air, air ambulance service. Uh, they, they won't come into what we have now, of course. <laughs> but they have been required, and they will, they will fly when the helicopters won't. And they do off right off 3,500 foot gravel runways in Nebraska. Yeah. Five they come into that. They come into 3,300 foot at Kinsley. With low fuel, he said. Yeah. Not enough jet fuel to get back to Wichita. Yeah. They, uh, They're light and low Because they operate under Part 135 air taxi. And those certificates specify, you know, their fuel loads. And, and they run under very strict operations. <coughs> And a paved runway and maybe get some pheasant hunters in, some activity on the sportsman's class, because right now they're landing crap. 
and with their full-time engineer in-house in out Topeka, they can do a lot of this work without contracting it out. KDOT's goal is to have an all-weather service runway in every county in the state of Kansas. That, that is their goal, but it, it takes money. <laughs> Right now it's 90-10 on the construction, but it drops down to 50-50 on the fuel tanks. They're putting in fuel systems. There for several years they allowed $10,000 from Topeka to a credit card reader. It's just a little pedestal. Mm -hmm. And that software, and they did a lot of that. And this year they're revamping the cut the fuel systems. But that's on a 50-50, but the credit card reader was a 90-10. It kind of varies. People, they, however they feel you need the money. If you're really in an emergency situation, they'll give you money during the year, even with emergency plans. And they will fund, they will not just the runway, they'll, they'll fund taxiways, and they've got into funding some hangars, terminal buildings. Yeah, they built new uh, restrooms and Lincoln light, Kansas. Lighting systems, uh, approach systems, I mean, it's, it, it covers the whole gamut, but mm -hmm. it has in the past anyway. So what's the city's application? You only to accomplished this year or well or is, is it we've already done the site site uh, selection and the site study mm -hmm. and that is what he said he told me that's what they would use if they came to Stafford County the work has already been done and this is what they would use and uh, we had the engineering group we had to do this uh, we had some real problems that weren't, weren't happy with some of the things they did. And, and, uh, they will still look at, at other sites. And the next thing basically would be for uh, George and uh, the engineer to come out and, and do some looking around and then decide on phase one, which would be the engineering on a site. We've actually got two sites uh, that we prefer to use the existing site mm -hmm. because the city owns the hangar. Uh, individuals own all the rest of the hangars, so, you know, if we would lose that, it's just lots of storage out there, I guess. But uh, uh, the other site would be to the west, a mile and a half, that we'd prefer, but as with any site, there's a problem with, with every site. Existing is Old Highway 50. The new site could be potentially, there's a high transmission line to the north, could be a problem, and the two towers over here between St. John and Stafford are potentially a problem, and it's just a matter of seeing what we can do there. They actually selected a site south of town, and that was just basically a beat the deadline, select, and they selected one that scored the highest on the, uh, the, the ranking for the sites, and there's problems with that site too. <laughs> but staying with our deal, I talked to an engineer yesterday with PEC. They're another big consulting firm. They're putting on the air fast to look straw. But he says that ground that we're on now is considered disturbed soil. So we wouldn't have quite the environmental problem. We'd have a little with the extension. Mm -hmm. But he said as far as going to a new site, you'd be into all kinds of surveys. And environmental studies might have been <coughs> so considered disturbed ground so that would maybe be a factor to stay where we are mm -hmm. if we moved if we moved to the west like we were talking the adjoining property of the airport then you're still right back yeah you're disturbed still, no you're still on the airport you got it got it through the fence agreement it's like somebody that wants to be able to hang her next on the 80 they have to sign the agreement to go through the fence and they charge us $60 a year to keep our hangars on the leased ground. And they would have to charge the same if they enter the airport off of their property. Make it all equal. And that's, that's the property we would consider possibly to the west. Building a new runway immediately to the west of the airport. That would be just over here. This is looking south, but that would be on the 80 acres to the west. This is the current airport, the old 50. And that's looking to the north. And we only have this one little draw to work with. Now we've drained in the hole. A Galloway to the north, I believe, if you come across the old highway. And that misses this little lagoon that's north of the airport here. And there's three culverts under 50. So you're going to stay with the 3600 foot runway then? No, we can go north and south. 
that was one of the proposals. Oh, that's, yeah, uh, that's, that's one that of the go this way. But with the displaced thresholds that they require, you, you lose a lot of this 36. Yeah, you're still on the short side. They will fund 3,200 foot minimum, I believe. Yeah, 32, but we would like to go to 5,000. If you're going to do the survey, because this would be in stages, you know, they do the grading one year, maybe the county could do the grading and the next year the paving, and then maybe that would be 32, 3,600 feet, and then the future, you'd have the easement for that. Yeah, it's, the right it's, away out here. It's not a get it all done this year. Yeah, it's right. a get it spread out over probably five years. Probably five years, and then old 50 may be a problem in four or five years or so to have some work. So if they would fund 90% of this improvement on old 50, why? They will, they will fund rerouting. So mm -hmm. that, and I think they figured the high cost was 900,000. Yeah, the low was To do a loop around. The north south, when they looking at extending this, the problem with this is there's so much low ground up there, up there, and that's our problem right now is drainage. We were standing water down here for a long time in June, July, but uh, they were going to actually they had a cost to re reroute old 15 to clear around, and I believe it was you know, nine hundred thousand dollars. They they fund ninety percent of it, so they will move roads. He was kind of here. Where would it, how far would that go? I mean, old 50. Just to yeah. the runway. Very little. This was when they were going for shorter. They got to stay at least 600 feet off the end of the runway. So the right top, is my understanding. And this is when they were just going to use, you know, a 30, 3,200 foot. And they were just going to run more quickly. But got to looking at it and probably the best thing is just to shoot over toward that north curve. Or take that curve out by the time there's been so many accidents. This morning somebody got a deer there in the morning. Yeah, I was I wonder where they'd take that to. But I don't know, you know, the, the longer you get, the more it's gonna cost. You're looking at probably a mile and a half of road going that route and I have close to two. Yeah, and that's gonna get pretty expensive. And then you get to building curves, turns, you've got a bank in them. And you know, it's not like there's not already an option there. We've got Highway 50, we've got Old 50 that comes south of Pikemans and ties into the new 50. I mean, I, I can see the potential of just dead end of the road on both sides and not making it. Somebody wants to drive the dirt road around, you could do that. I mean, that, that would be the cheapest alternative by far. There's people coming from the west that just go in there, like going to the county fair, and they just go. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be unhandy for a few people, but it's an hour mile further to Highway 50, and you can come in on Highway 50. I actually drove it, speed limit, both ways, and it was quicker to take Highway 50 and 281 than it was Old 50 if you drive the speed limit. <laughs> That's a big if right there. <laughs> <laughs> that new runway. I don't remember Steve said that. Yeah. <laughs> I always ride 55. <laughs> For all the neighbors, if they lose their road, we'll remember Steve said that. It was Steve's idea. It didn't have to. I don't know. It affects pikemans and us more than what anyway. We go that way to check our circle all the time. So this road is not half mile. I say if you curve it out, you'd go right through your circle. Well, you'd be north. You'd have to go clear north to the to the next dirt road, which is a half mile. I know. And if you went 5,000, you're going to get into an irrigated circle to the north if you go that way, which, and, you know, I, I just might as well just go down that road. I, I think there. the board's opinion is probably to be, try to stay within the mile yeah. with the runway. And that's, you know, 5,000 would be too much to stay so within that mile. It's really now up to the city to get George out there and Basically, and you know, I think what the city is sitting is wanting to know is if, if the county would entertain, you know, some type of joint joint venture, or if they could get some kind of funding. And, and you know, it's you're looking at. Uh, I'm going to say probably if you develop the current site, you're probably looking at four to five million dollars total cost. So you're looking at ten percent of that, which. Is, is a pretty good deal that the city doesn't have that kind of money. And it would leave a little more cloud to the applications with the <coughs> involved and maybe would appeal.
appeal more to the public if it was a county. My only problem with, with that is just obviously the location of, of usability from people from the western side of the county <clears throat> and the northern side of the county. I mean, if you, if, if, if it's where it's at and the county gets involved, uh, I mean, it's, it's the same drive to Stafford Airport as it is to Brad Pratt or Great Bend from, yeah. from where they're already at. Uh, that, that's my aim. And your ideal situation would be about two miles north of St. John on 50. I think that's kind of the geographic. Yeah, so, I mean, that, it, it, and if we're going to spend those kind of dollars, I, I, you know, uh, it would be easier to spend them kind of dollars if it was cent more centrally located. Yeah, the that's just my, my the opinion right, from right, district. Right. I understand. <laughs> the, other reason, the other reason is, is trying to stay close to your hospital. Right, yeah, and, and I can see the reason of trying to use the location we have, yeah. what you have now, uh, right. and from the from the hospital's point of view, uh, and the <coughs> city on the land too. And if you were to apply for the same study that created all this, forty thousand, that is done free now with the in-house engineer Tiffany Brown. She does this in-house because they were paying engineering firms to do what they decide they can do. So that's some sites that we should fuck. But if I don't know what I guess we're just asking if you would be involved with this planning of it. If it does get to the point where it's gonna cost some money, why well, you can either I guess withdraw. I, I think we need to research it again and, and, and visit the idea and see you know see what our options are. I mean, that, that, that's my personal opinion. I would agree with that. The one advantage of this site here, you know, if they could go to the west, they'd be able to retain their their grass diagonal. Yeah. Right. And uh, but then the other thing is you know the close the proximity to the hospital because. I mean, we've got to go to the hospital first to be determined where they need to be shipped out. So if they're at the hospital and then say it is north of St. John, then there's that much delay. delay. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not easy. But I think what we should, we should do is get a hold of our county attorney and see if if there's a way that we can do a interlocal agreement, um, you know, if it's county and then the county has to own the property, um, the other thing is to get that site engineer out and see if this is feasible. And if the city did sell the property, it might bring a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. It's hard to say. It does have irrigation potential. There's a test well yeah. drilled there. <coughs> so and, there's, and you only have a hundred thousand dollars to put in a new airport site. So that is the advantage of a new site right. altogether. They would have the money. But the nice thing about it, we're not under the gun for September thirtieth. Right. Yeah. And, 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 unless the county would, would want yeah. to put in their own application. <laughs> and yeah. That's that's the deadline. Which my understanding was that they really don't they don't they just care. Somebody they just the leave. Yeah. And the application I had in, I had told him I would withdraw that one because that's what followed up the work. I didn't know it at the time. Yeah. And he said, we won't find two airports. So I said, I'll get out of the game. Yeah. Well, and see, if we'd have filed, then it would have been three. three. There would have been three. And I, so I'll just back out and just and let's their, pursue. And, and their priority in the county is the existing airport. That's, that's what they want to look at first. And then but I would like to ask you that I could be the volunteer for your group to go to these meetings because this lady's going to come out here and do these engineering studies and I'd like to visit with her when she's here because the city staff feels like I'm the outside I'm the troublemaker but I'm not <laughs> you know and it's a volunteer situation and when they have a board meeting I'd like to go and then report back to 
to you guys what's going on. Keep you informed unless you yeah. like to come to the meetings. I'm going to let you know when they're going to have a meeting. But, uh, well, that's the, I guess this, the main thing the city would need to know right now is if, if, if the county would be entertained. I'm, I I'm, 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 I'm helping out. Yeah. I'd like to visit the issue. I mean, yeah, I'd like to, like say, your county yeah. attorney may, mm -hmm. to visit the issue and see where our possibilities are, is my opinion. Yeah, especially when Tiffany comes out to the engineer. This is all she does is there for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine of thing. Yeah. It's the whole objective is this for the sick and injured. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I saw 48 flights one year, and I mean, there were some people who were very grateful in that airplane. And the helicopter. The helicopter is just. Each one is like the airport sites. They both have their advantages. The helicopter's right there at the crash site or the accident. But the King Air is faster and more distance. And maybe not the Wichita, but they're going to Denver or something. Yeah, they will fly in weather with the helicopter as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're not give you a ride over the airport. Who's next? Renee. Is Renee out there? She was. I had that farmed up too bad. Is Renee out there? I don't know. It might be a little tricky. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't know where the grade's been yeah. across. He's probably got that disc up for you. We did yeah. land there one night, Mrs. Run, while you ended up in the week. I didn't have a place to call her. <laughs> <laughs> I've landed there before. Yeah, it wasn't that rough a no. runway. Renee. I'll be right. <coughs> Upgrading her server. Um, She's out there. Was out. She was. Yeah, she left. What fun would this come out of? Her, her district court. I have that. She said she did. She won't get bought this year before next year, so we'll cut her. She's on her, Lisa's calling her name, so, okay. Anyway. Have a spare one 
Would this, uh, would this be used for the video conferencing that no. we looked at? No, this, no. Is, okay. this, this is separate. This is, this is for office. This, this is, is for office. office. So. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, block time hours down here are prepaid hours that you get at a reduced, a reduced rate. Okay. Which I did, I checked, I did, did have on hand 7.39 hours left. That I, that I were already paid. But in turn, I have to turn around my awards to have. It's what those transcripts are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 So that's what I'm kind of looking at. And thought I'd kind of let you guys know that's what's going on. And I think maybe judges wanted to get a new laptop. So we might be looking at that down the road, too. I didn't include that with this just yet to see where things left money wise. I don't know. I don't have a problem with this. So just kind of let you guys know where, where I'm going. Do you need a motion needed to do this? You could. I mean, she's really not a county department. Okay. She's, yeah, this, this is more for you, right? Okay. Yeah, this is just okay. information. That's fine. Yeah. So when the voucher comes through, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. Pictures, keys, whatever. Because I know I need it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Still the Still. whirlwind. Thank you.
our total operating expenses for the month were 301,836, which is 25,000 less than prior month, giving us a net loss of 22,536 for the month. And year to date is a loss of 393,920. When we look at that compared to prior year, it says that we are 660,000 less than this time last year. But if you take out the 555,000 more than we received last year, we're only 190,000 less than this time last year. So, a little DC we look at in there.
are you wanting to just write off everything that's over three years because it's past the statute of limitations, or how are you wanting to do that? I I think my opinion still is what it was last time. I mean, I would rather try to send a letter explaining our situation and just see what happens. I mean, I think if we do that, I know it's going to take a lot of time, but I think some of those people would pay. I mean, I, I realize we're still going to have to write off a fair amount. But. So how long do you want us to give before we write that off? A letter and three statements, or just a letter in one month, and then write it off, or <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, we just don't want to do something. Yeah, I, mean, the next <laughs> yeah. I would rather see probably a letter and two statements. I mean, that's sixty days to get yeah. some. I mean. At least we would know to have a correspondence by that point. Well, well and you, you guys might. have to write that off. Yeah. They have to come to you with right. that. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 I realize that. But I'm saying I, I'd rather make Try. an attempt to collect. What, what about a, a follow-up friendly what phone call? call? I mean, I know with me, sometimes all i got to do is make a phone call. Right. They say, sure, Lisa. Uh, you know, and, well, um, at that point, you could uh, explain the situation yeah. too. I mean, that's. I mean, if it, if you have a phone number available, yeah. I know some people. But that personal touch, and you know, say we're really sorry for the this set of circumstances. I mean, anybody can just ignore a bill, but when you get a personal phone call, yeah. that does make it's a, a difference. Sometimes I don't know. It's just a suggestion. If it get five hundred dollars collected, that's five hundred dollars for the county. And that helps the taxpayers. A dollar's a dollar. What was Joe's opinion? I have to talk to Joe. Or you know, maybe even ask ask the people. You know, what would you feel comfortable with? Disposing of it. Yeah. 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 That's the number that there's people that making payments on that. Oh, yeah. But they are making payments making on that payments. amount. Okay. Is that I, correct? I, I, I believe, believe that's so what Julie said. There have been payments made yeah. on it. So is there anything over five years that we haven't? We were well, outside of all that. Yeah. That's the question. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Well, there's stuff still with the set off, and I know that's over five years. Yeah, that would probably be included in that prior amount. And maybe those need to be written off. So I think the way Julie explained it to me was anything that was older than this 2009 work with no activity is what we wrote off. Was that a month ago or so? I believe is what, yeah. And then at least now we, from what she explained to me, 2009, we have information on some of those, <laughs> on the majority of those, I believe. So I. <laughs> And possibly a phone call if you have a number. I mean, I mean that's why. Uh, there's really no. There's not a. <laughs> it's hard to give a definitive, uh, definite answer. Yeah. Because some of it's case And the other case. problem is whether you have a current address. At least twenty thousand. And if we don't have an address, then I believe they've already been sent to ARSI, who has more resources to get the correct address. Mm -hmm. It's going to make Julie's job a little tougher, but I think that's it's the county's money, and uh, probably try to sure, collect it. When we had said that we would bring Julie when we came for the financials, you know, you can tell her that she's busy with doing some stuff for us. So we had Angie Martin out Monday to help us with the billing, so she's got several claims that she can now fix and rebuild. So we thought. She said, I can make you $30,000 in about two hours, so we just said stay here. Yeah, I <laughs> can't blame you. <laughs> we will try to bring her in the future. So. Well, one thing that does concern me a little bit, though, with that statement coming from the hospital, if you don't send a letter out or a phone call, is I'm afraid people will be mad at you. You're not the only one that's afraid of that. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's not fair. The statement doesn't 
exactly come from us. It still says Stafford County ENS. It still comes from their envelope. There's nothing on there about address. the hospital. No. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay. That's, that's better. Then the replies still come to EMS. Yeah. Okay. Some folks get them. Well, I mean, there's some need for them to be upset with you if they give a statement and they haven't had one for a long time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you in a month. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. Before. Um, October, is it the 21st? 21st, I believe. 21st. It'd be the third Monday. Okay. And we have a meal at 5.30. If, if you want to come eat with us, that would be fine. <laughs> There's a lot of good conversation. Sometimes it goes along. We did meals. talk about rotate that a little bit. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a good idea. idea. Yeah, I think it would be cool to have you guys. So. Okay. You're welcome anytime. I didn't answer All right. question before. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did want to talk to you guys about your distributions because mm -hmm. that is going to change next okay. year. Um, we've been over distributing to you guys the last two years. It's just because, it, well, it's hard to. The, the last distribution, I'm always over distribution. Distributing to you because of motor vehicle, mm -hmm. and I have to give you motor vehicle. The only thing that I can withhold from you is ad valorem, but by that time of the year, I've already collected all my ad valorem taxes. So, anyway. But we're getting we're getting written up in a a budget violation mm -hmm. every year. Please have that. So next year we're going to change it. We're just going to give you four equal quarterly payments. You won't get five payments anymore. And so four equal instead of a big change in January and. Okay. Yeah. What are you thinking? I know you will still be like January. We really need to get that. No, it'll know. The end of the quarter you make those distributions. Is it January one four seven? 10? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, January, April, July, and October. Okay. 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 A lot of Phillips guys wait till the end and of the year. And the check will come from their meeting in the office now. Okay. So he's, they need this to what we're going to do, we're going to dump that money into a holding what we're going to take off for the then holidays. Then that way so they can plan accordingly to use up all their time because so. they're real conscious about getting their time. Yeah, we've been in budget violation the last few years. So this is the way we can fix that. Well, I mean, he'll call him in if he needs to, but and we just need to know so people can plan. My idea was the same as what we discussed earlier. Discharges 
in fiscal year 2013. Uh, 24 offenders, or 23%, were revoked and entered the Kansas prison system, while 81 offenders, or 77%, did not enter the Kansas prison system. So we were pretty excited about that. Uh, we also had, um, there's some things, we'll see how, how it turns out. Mid-year, we had a, a new criminal judge that uh, took over for Judge Kitts, who retired. And so um, he's, Judge Swati took over as the main criminal judge. So we're seeing how, how that change will, will uh, manifest throughout the years. Um, but right now we're still able to, uh, we're still um, offering services and getting people engaged in programs to hopefully uh, help change their behavior and help them to be successful. Because ultimately, if they're successful, then our communities are safer. Um, so in helping us to, to um, celebrate our success, uh, I've gone to the different counties and asked for somebody that's being supervised or from that county to come and just talk about um, who they are and how they got to, our, uh, to where they are at. And I think it's important for the commissions to um, acknowledge them just because, just because you read about somebody in the paper one day doesn't mean that that's how they are for the rest of their life. And so I've had a brave soul in Stafford County that has agreed to come and talk. Look at him. He just got, this got sprung on him like uh, five minutes ago. <laughs> I didn't know if he would be willing to do that. But, um, but uh, this is Bob, and he's um, got a history with our program. So if you want, can you uh, introduce yourself and tell a little bit about what? I'm Bob Krakenberg. Um, When did, when did all this happen? Um, a little bit of a great life, lifetime ago. But, uh, the best thing out of this program that I've gotten is we had a cognitive thinking course that I don't know. I've been to it before and it didn't take. I've been in and out. I've been in and out of prison twice now. And, uh, I, I've got to give my props to Amy and Brian here for really helping turn my life around. They've uh, they made that, that thinking course more than just showing up and sitting to it. I mean, the way they teach it is really helpful. It makes you stop and think. It's improved my home life. Uh, my relationship with my two little kids. Um, now they're running this stuff instead of me. And uh, they they do a great job. My corrections officer Ryan here and then you both work with me. Um, they they really made me stop and think. And uh, and I've been an addict for, I'm 57 years old now. I've been doing this for 40 years. You know, I'm sure y'all read my name in the paper more than once. And if it wasn't for these two, I'd be, I'd be in prison right now. But it's still a very extended stay in the same. And if you do it, Everybody can have these two as you know, kind of the guardian angels. It would make a hell of a difference. I did not think that. You gotta get that to me later, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say that it, it's made a world of difference in my life. Before, I've been through treatment, all kinds of programs. And it was all just lip service. You know, these people, they believe what they do. And that makes, that makes a heck of a difference. And with that, that's not all I got to say. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for being the brave soul to come <laughs> to yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for all the notice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh,
But anyway, if you have questions, uh, we'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, I'd ask for your approval to submit our year-end outcomes report. I'm actually going to submit the the year in the progress report. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. We accept the correction of the report. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Great. I don't know if I can just You be available Monday. I'm going to Rice County. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get a copy of that. Just play it. I feel better. <laughs> you the boss. I'll be wherever you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd just like to say uh, thank you for coming and sharing. Um, that's really brave of you. And to see you here is a great testimony to their program. So. He's changed a lot. I said, I didn't even know you met with Bob in Stafford County. He didn't like to even come into the courthouse. He didn't have to. So he's, he has shown a lot of improvement. And it is important to celebrate his success because, you know, he's, he's come a long ways. And we've had, yeah. we've supervised him more than once. And, and it's nice to have a change of attitude. So it looks like you were ready for to hear what has been told to you. Yeah, I got lost. Love that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're ready for Carl. Carl's That's two minutes. We'll recess. After the zoning, I feel like mission. I with the string behind me. <laughs> Okay, we're back in session. <laughs> you are grumpy. You need a little puppet. I don't that in grumpy. No, no. Uh, this is just to show that they didn't put any conditions on it and it is just granted. Um, Verizon thought they would, depending on the weather, and this was their last step here, that it would be, they'd like to be directed by them this year or the first quarter of next year. Wow. So, and that is their service year. So, 350 foot tall, big one, and it's freestanding. So what it is, the base, I don't know if you've seen that before, the base is bigger, and then it comes up, mm -hmm. and, the, and there's no, mm -hmm. there's no guide wire, you know. But it was, it was great. And you said 4G capable of Yeah. It's a really powerful, and it is tall. Mm -hmm. so, it went, it went well. And it's non-directional. Yes, yes. They actually, he actually brought, yep. Yeah. Here's the door. If you, if you kind of zoom in on Hudson there. And then if you zoom in on Hudson there, you can kind of see the county line. They'll go all the way to the county line. I think this will take care of Corbera. There's probably one of the people that they were happy to see. Yeah. Kind of by looking at it, it's one of the photos you look at, you're supposed to find what's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <There's one after. laughs> That's what I think about when I see it out there. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, find what's different. <laughs> and it's just around Hudson. Yeah. On there. So, so, that's, that's so does that still mean there's going to be a dead zone? Well, and, and um, uh, one of the board members said something about you know when on Fourth Street when you go to mm -hmm. uh, that uh, when you go to Hutch uh, that'll still be a dead area. Yeah. And then it, uh, well, at least it won't be for a long period. Of time. Yeah. Better, better mm -hmm. So it does cover uh, like in Joe's corner. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then and you see the red on there, it will go pretty much to the county line. Mm -hmm. And you know, who knows after that, you might still have a bar or two. I mean, it's going to be better than something. So if my wife was meeting my daughter at Huntsville, 
they might actually be able to communicate. You're right. <laughs> oh, that's right. This could Where be you important. You can, I can't hear you. Yeah. So, so it was granted, mm -hmm. and I sent a copy of that to the landowner, the applicant, the, the, and then the uh, send it off to Verizon as well. We'll be rocking on and and we took care, that took care of all the zoning right now. There was one other request, and I'll just let you know that uh, the school, St. John's School, so they want to put up a, uh, um, I don't say, a sign out on the highway um, for those state championships and so forth. And that would be zoning. And uh, they had the school ask if uh, we would waive our fee, and the board voted against it. Uh, they didn't want to set precedence. They wanted to, uh, and plus we do have a fee because if, you know on special use permits we have to publish it twice in the paper. So we would we would have a fee anyway. Uh, and, and they didn't feel like it should be up to the county zone to take care of the fee and so forth like that. And then they also thought you know where do you draw the line? Yeah, you know if the church or something of that nature. So. It is only $125, so. How much? $125, so it's not, it shouldn't be a major break. So I'll get back to the school on that. Other than that, that was, that was it. Good. Well, that's good news. All right. Yeah. 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 You guys don't want to take the back. If you want to do it later, it's fine. You have a boss. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. Thank you, Carl. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Carl. Nathan's still coming. Recess. Mm -hmm. Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in regards to the county courthouse being an observant of a uh, Christmas holiday, the courthouse will be closed on the 24th and 25th of December and reopen at normal hours on the 26th. Second? Second. That was a motion? Oh, wait, let me start that off. Second and third. I didn't hear you move. Okay. And you seconded? I think Kurt One and a half, one and a half. All right, all in favor say aye. All right. Motion carried. Hey, just. We're adjourned. Nope, nope. 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 Well, all I know is like, we got jumped by the highway patrol last night because some, one of our local idiots in Ellsworth decided to sell, you know, the, the floor tabs or, you know, whatever they sell, you know, painkillers that the doctors overprescribe to somebody who ended up in the emergency room at the hospital. And of course, the nurse on duty is married to a highway patrol, and so she decides to make it the crime of the century. Because <laughs> I'm there last night with my son on the back porch and we're, we're sampling from my wine collection. We're not in good condition to do any, you know, thing re requiring intelligence. And all these highway patrol cars were zipping up my driveway. I'm looking at my son like, what did you do now? <laughs> well, one thing they wanted keys to my office in the courthouse so they can pull out my physician's desk reference on pills because you know you got to read the code on the pills and know what it is. And, okay, here's the keys guys, you know, have at it. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything tonight. Yeah. And then they come back and they got a search warrant and I said, you know, these people are sufficiently stupid. You probably don't need a search warrant. You could probably just go on there and they let you in. The guy who did it, I think I put him in juvenile prison in 1992, what does that tell you? It's called, you deal with the same, in small town Kansas, you deal with the same knuckleheads forever. We need your, uh, I guess, research and opinion in regards to the Stafford, city of Stafford Airport. Ah, I saw Mr. Schultz yeah. downstairs, and uh, gosh, I, is, is, is that a, is that a, 
belong to the county or the city or it belongs, city, it belongs yeah. to the city. City. Okay. It's a good yeah. place to keep it. <laughs> and they're wanting <laughs> well and then meaning financial help. Of course we'll be involved. If it goes to the to the present site, we'd have to do something with old Highway fifty. But according to Mr. Schultz and, and Mr. Brinson, the state would provide the funds for the relocation of Highway 50. But the question is, can we have a interlocal agreement to help finance? You, you can if you want, but here, here's my big concern. The state of Kansas is going to have a huge revenue loss, which is only going to show up in 2014 because of all the people who used to pay income tax in Kansas based on their Schedule C, E, and F income. And I don't think anybody really knows how big the income shortfall is going to be for the state, so you've got to take with a, not just a grain of salt, but a tire, you know, salt shaker, promises of state money. I mean, I'd be very Well, yeah. You know. It's 90-10, it's isn't it? Yeah. And this is for 2014, the last five years. So the short answer is yes, you can, you know, but again, be very careful of projects where the state is supposedly going to be. I believe Phil said that that's a five, ten year funded program or five year funded program. Five, five years. Funding, you, you, have, have, you have to keep it in operation for ten years. Right. But, yeah. but I mean, the funding for these programs are already in place on the state level. Is the way I understood through my discussion. So anyway, so you might want to have. You know, I've, I've heard of them. I've never actually drafted one. Some kind of escape valve, mm -hmm. where we can bail if the state money is in there. And the, the whole thing is is contingent upon whether there's state money. I mean, it's but they need a. An entity to send the money to to pay their contractors, but it looks like this is going to be like a three-year phase. I mean, they do the engineering and they do the grading. Are they, are they going to be trying to purchase or condemn navigation easements? I think they were talking about 500 feet easement or something at the end of the runway. Uh, but but I'm talking about the airspace. No, no. Because I'm just amazed at the value of airspace. I'm watching these navigation easements being condemned up in Ellsworth. It's the city of Ellsworth's baby. So I'm just sitting back, you know, being amused. Would that be on the wind farm? Or the wind? This is just for the little city airport up by the prison, you know. Uh, the prison said, fine, you can have more airspace. <laughs> but everybody else said, no, we want money. Wow. And I'm just amazed. I, years and years ago, I actually did an navigation easement condemnation out in southwest Kansas. And I uh, can't even remember the city that hired me to do it, but it was the strangest thing because, you know, you're, you're, you're describing this cone or, you know, box of air is what it is. And luckily, the landowners didn't see the human you know, whatever. Our quote expert proposed, they said, fine, you know, send us a check. But it's up in Ellsworth, a couple of litigious people uh, who are fighting them. And I'm just you know, curious to see what happens. Okay. Because in theory, when you own a piece of land, you own 300 feet up from the ground before you get to federal airspace. So from you know, the highest point I hear, say 160 or whatever, you go 300 feet up, that's yours. Hmm. Arguably, if somebody in a plane or something goes under that, they're trespassing. There's actually a case out in, I want to say, Scott County, where some, you know, Save the land, legal defense fund, or something had a 
a guy in one of those real primitive airplanes, you know, kind of looks like, I forgot what they're called. You know, it's like a lawnmower with wings. Ultralight. Ultralight. Somebody with an ultralight would fly over all these feed yards. Well, that's a Dodge City. Pardon? That was a Dodge City. Yeah, National that's Geographic. That, yeah, that's, that's where the lawsuit is. Yeah. It, it happened, yeah. you know, probably along the, what is it, eight, uh, what, 183 Highway or something, mm -hmm. which is just constant feed lots. And he was taking pictures of, you know, down cows and piles of manure and, you know, whatnot. And the feedlot operators were suing him and National Geographic and whoever else for trespass because this guy transgressed under the 300 foot. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah I, I'll, I will certainly look at. Uh, that, that proposal and try and whip something or in the shape, getting a hold of the probably the Stafford City Attorney. Because it's technically the airport, right? They, yes. the they own the land. They own the land. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, we will certainly do what we can do. You know, but again, I'm not optimistic when it comes to state funding or anything. I, I, I read too many. You know, I guess you call it good government articles. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll adjourn. <laughs>